Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of uh, January the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First off, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Pentacles upright. And next we have Major Arcana, the Hangman reversed. And then we have Major Arcana, the Moon in Reverse. And lastly, we have the Page of Wands in the Upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, Ten of Cups for your overall energy. Not bad, Taurus, to have as an overall energy. It's beautiful. This is really nice. Um, on the emotional front, it could be representative of a celebration. Could be celebrating with family members over something or other it's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read some of you could be celebrating an engagement a wedding a, um, a birth of a child something like that something is going on that could be very exciting to the family where everybody's getting together now for others of you if you're single and say just newly dating someone this could be representative of Time to meet the family. Maybe they're bringing you to meet uh, their family or you're bringing them to meet your family. Either way, it could be a family celebration where your heart just feels super full because you're spending time with your loved ones, your family members or people who feel like family and along with maybe your new love. And that's always a wonderful feeling. Uh, others of you, maybe this could just represent harmony in the home and with the family. Nice energy, no matter how you slice it. <laughs> this is um, your first card up is the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, the Ace of Pentacles, Aces always usher in new beginnings. And it's perfect. We're just, you know, launching a new year here. And um, something new could beginning for you, uh, be, be, uh, be beginning for you. <laughs> in uh, the early part of the week, Taurus, because this is usually representative of something new that's starting on the tangible level. It could be for some of you, maybe there is an opportunity for you to find your perfect home. If you're looking for a home, whether it be a house or whether you're looking for an apartment or what have you, it could be, boom, you find the perfect place. Um, others of you, which ushers in some kind of new beginning concerning your stability. For others of you, this could be a new job, perhaps. It could be the beginning of a new business, maybe, if you're in business for yourself. This could be the beginning of making a lot of money. See, the thing with the Ace of Pentacles is this is a chance or an opportunity to have whatever it is you have going on to grow. Say, for example, if you're purchasing a home, it could be that you're buying it and then somewhere down the line, the home will be worth more money. So it's a good investment. Others of you, this could actually be representing an actual investment. And uh, perhaps there's, you know, uh, you get a nice tip on something. It's like invest a little money late now and you could get, earn some big dividends later. For those of you starting businesses, this could be representative of you're on to something good that could bring you good money going forward. I think I've explained to you before in the astrological moments about um, Taurus. And I've even mentioned it in the tarot readings as well that um, Jupiter is now entering your, well, it has already entered your career zone. So definitely for some of you, this could be the beginning and the start of something that could help you make money down the line. Now it's paired up here with the Hank Man in the reverse position. It's time to get back on that saddle again. It's time to try it again. If you tried something before, Taurus, this and maybe it didn't work because it, the timing was off, or maybe you tried it towards the end of the year, it's a fresh start now. Maybe it's time to restart. That's the whole thing about the hangman in reverse. We're no longer sitting there trying to figure things out, looking at things from a different perspective. We know exactly what's going on. We know what to do and we're going to do it and we're going to start moving. For some of you, you could be literally moving to a new job, a new home or something like that. But for others of you, maybe you're just getting started again, getting a move on with things. Now that could have been stalled before. Now we're moving on towards the weekend. We have the major arcana moon in the reverse position this is the pisces card this is a card that's ruled by 
Neptune, which can cause in the upright position a lot of um, confusion due to the fact that there could, could be illusion or deception attached to it. When the card is inverted, however, this is beautiful. This is where we come out of illusion. We come out of uh, deception. If someone was deceiving us, we see the truth now. For others of you, this could be about you no longer deceiving your own self about a situation. You're seeing things clearly. There could be clarity coming towards you from a partner, from a friend, from a family member, from a work situation, what have you, wh wherever it resonates for you, there's going to be some clarity coming through. Confusion will get cleared up and you'll know exactly the way forward. And at the end of the week, you end off with some beautiful, good, exciting news. The Page of Wands is here in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Sometimes the pages can represent younger people, so it could be someone younger, a younger family member, it could be a son or a daughter, or you know, a grandson or a daughter, perhaps bringing you some really good news. For others of you, this could be if you're single and looking this could be representative of someone maybe messaging you and it's very exciting to you because this person could person could be a very very passionate type of person maybe they are an, uh, a fire sign but not necessarily they could be any sign and this could just be representative of good news that you've been waiting for that you've been hoping for finally you get that letter finally you get that communication finally you get that uh, information, whatever it is, or even for some of you, if you've been waiting, uh, perhaps the holidays interrupted some mail you were expecting or parcels or something like that, that you've been anxiously awaiting. It could be that it's coming through at the very end of the week for you, Taurus. Whatever this news is, I think it's very exciting for some of you. Uh, you got your clarity upon about something or about someone or about a situation. And now you've got some good news coming in as well. So um, you've got movement action here. You've got a new start with the Ace of Pentacles. And the new start that you have is something that's solid. It's something that you can like take to the bank kind of thing. And at the very end of the week, you've got maybe some of you put in for, you know, say you, you, you requested a mortgage or something like that for a home. And then you get the news that it's, you know, it's a go or others of you, this could be, you know, investing in something in terms of maybe you're investing in yourself or investing in your own business. And you get the news at the end of the week that everything is, you know, all the papers are signed, everything is done. It's, it's a, it's a done deal now. Looks like an exciting week and looks like a really good week. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups, something to celebrate as your overall. So it looks like a terrific week for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I hope it helped you in some way. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.